Sorry about that, human beings from the planet Earth. You know, I was just jamming out to a little orgasmatron. I like to do that before I strike against the machine, you know, just to get the mood right. Besequious and arrogant, clandestine and vain. Talking about Diamond Ranch Academy and in other places as well. Peninsula. Peninsula Village. Activists have been working very hard and gathering information and, and it seems there's evidence of major HIPAA violations by Diamond Ranch Academy and by this other like-minded institution of Peninsula Village. Now one of the toughest things about Diamond Ranch Academy and most of these teen torture abuse camps or as they like to call them, behavior modification schools, um, is that there isn't a lot of uh, inspections or licensing or monitoring that goes on at all. So I want to bring you to this thread that started last night on Take Down Diamond Ranch Academy on Facebook. You can see I'm a member of that. Many others. Well this guy, Kevin uh, Edgentius, great work, great, great information, great thought, realized that students' pictures are being posted on Diamond Ranch Academy blogs, which is a major HIPAA violation. He also has evidence of the same type of HIPAA violations by Peninsula, Peninsula Village. Now he has sent me an email with the HIPAA complaint form in proof of his uh, accusation, you might call it, about Peninsula Village with in attachments inside the form. The link to this form, the free download, will be below in the video description. Oh, we could even open that up, show you what's in here. Okay, actually, let me pull my file up rather than trying to open this. I'll show you that it was uh, sent to me. Where are we? Here we go. Let's open this up. Let's show you what you're going to get when you open this up in here. In case Peninsula Ranch is, thinks that uh, we're just screwing around and there's no information in there. I don't mind showing you what I got because I'm going to kick your fucking ass. Okay, so we go over here to attachments. Let's open that up. There's just one example. I'm not going to go through them all because time is of the essence. The link to the complaint form with all those attachments, which are screenshots of Facebook posts on a peninsula village group. Now I want to go here, Diamond Ranch Academy. They all run a blog. Each one of their subsidiaries or camps you might call it. You can see Diamond Ranch, Crystal Springs. Now, are all these children just actors? Or are they the children that went there? I don't know, but I'll tell you this, that if I was a parent and I had a troubled teen, I certainly wouldn't slander their face across the internet so for the rest of the life they're marked as a troubled individual. I, I wouldn't do that. I, I, there's no, actually, I wouldn't send my children anywhere to be 
instructed by others. That's my responsibility, but to each their own. Some some parents get manipulated and overwhelmed, so I don't. They're trying, um, and, and they make mistakes. Some are just fucking lazy and have no time. But anyway, I, I certainly. You know, and, and I don't care. It, you don't give me an ice cream cone if I've been abused and sent away from my family and create a smile like this. Maybe you do. Maybe the kid's extremely happy. Maybe he just got notified he's leaving the fucking place. He doesn't seem to have an ice cream. But would you have your kids' faces all over the internet advertised to the entire world that your child was a troubled teen. I mean something like this might just stop him from being governor or president, right? Certainly wouldn't allow him to get into the Air Force. What about this other one? Oh yeah, the kids are playing tennis. Okay, so for you that say, well, the parents maybe signed a waiver so that their kids could get on there. According to Kevin, who is much more knowledgeable in the law in relation to this stuff than I am, no waiver w would be allowed to override the patient's medical privacy. Somebody already asked the question. Oh, and he mentions earlier that uh, Peninsula Village banned his wife from seeing her daughter for six months for having the gall to photograph five counselors pummeling a child to the ground. It's not just Diamond Ranch Academy. But clear violations from my limited understanding and I'm sure that when people click the links that will be below and they check out all those pictures they would like to download this file as well and file an official complaint with HIPAA and if you're one of the children that are in that picture any of those pictures that I just flashed I am sorry that you were caught in the middle of this crossfire but Diamond Ranch Academy you are fucking warned and since that warning came out, you've already your website's already been shut down twice, from my understanding. What do you think's going to happen when this information gets out? Voluntarily close your fucking doors and release every child in there, or expect even more than this. <laughs>